So a lot of you guys don't know my story, but I dropped out of school when I was 19. And I think that's actually what led me to making my first million dollars was me just leaving college, honestly. And the reason being is it put me in a state where, where my back was against the wall. And when your back's against the wall, the only direction that you could go is just forward. And uh, that situation for me was, I wanna say it was kind of a no-brainer just because I was already exploring different avenues to, to generate income. And what had happened was after finishing high school, I didn't necessarily have the best grades to, to make it into college or university. So basically the way it works is you got pre-university classes that you could take at high school. I don't know how it works in the States, but that's what it's like in Canada. And then you got just college level classes. So I was qualifying all the way up until my last year. And the only reason I actually took those classes was one, because my sister convinced me to and two, what happened was I, I was playing football. And in order for me to get into a D1 school playing football, I had to take those university level classes. But my grades weren't even good enough to get into school in the first place. So I was just like, all right, whatever. At this point, I had just gotten into e-com and I saw that, you know what, I can make this work. I can make a living off of this. And so I decided to drop one of those uni classes, take a college level class. And then from there, I just realized obviously I couldn't qualify. And at this point I had decided I did not want to go to college. And this is for all you guys out there that are questioning whether they should be in college, university, uh, or doing whatever. If you guys have different aspirations, like here's the thing. It's not necessarily about having a backup plan. It's about understanding that you don't have any other means to be successful aside from believing in yourself. So if you don't believe in yourself and you're just gonna test something out and see if it works, then you should probably stay in school because you have to understand this is, your only option here is to succeed. Your only option is for you to be able to create a living for yourself. And if you're incapable of doing that, you're gonna end up in a position where you end up leaving school and then you're gonna start working a bare minimum job. And you don't wanna be at that point when you're 25 years old, you're starting to think about you wanna have a family and kids and stuff like that. So make these decisions when you're younger. And I just took the risk and believed in myself just because I knew I could make it work. I've always been that type of person. If I'm gonna make something work, or if I want something to make some, if, if I wanna make something work, I'm gonna make it work. And if you're that type of person and you're exploring these business ventures and you believe in yourself to make these business ventures work for yourself, then cool. I'm gonna tell you straight, drop out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And the, the reason being is me personally, right? And this is not financial advice, by the way, but me personally, I just understood that I was in a position where I was not gonna make it in school. I knew that because I didn't want to. I realized that if I did exert all the energy that I exerted into my business at the school, I would have probably done very well at school, but that's not what I found priority in. I don't find priority in going to school. It hasn't supported me in any way. I think the only thing I've actually gained from school as a kid was then how to read and write, basic math and all that stuff. But aside from that, I just didn't necessarily see the purpose of me being there. So anyways, coming out of school, I ended up going to college for a month or two. I was, I was taking it online. I wasn't doing bad, but what happened was one day, I'm sitting there and I look at my syllabus or my agenda or whatever you call it, I don't, I don't even, the word might be syllabus. And what happens is I have five exams or papers or whatever it was due for the next morning. This is a Sunday afternoon. And I just shut my thing and I'm just like, you know what, I'm not gonna do this. Because I'm really gonna sit there and exert all these hours into writing these papers that literally don't mean anything for a teacher that's broke as shit to come review it and tell me how intelligent I am. I just don't believe in that kind of stuff. So at that point, I just said, fuck it. I shut the thing and I dropped out. And I think this was around October. And it, it's crazy because the domino effect that certain things can have on your life, you don't even realize. So this happened in October. At this time, I was still working. I ended up getting a new job in sales in November. That's when I started. I was working at a phone store. And basically that job, I had been working really hard to get it because I was trying to get into sales. And at this point, I'm somebody that's a little bit more shy. I don't know how to talk to people. I'm very introvert. I'm still a troll though, but I'm introvert. And I got that job in sales. So this gave me the sales skills. And I told myself, even if I start making money right now with my e-com business, which I did at the exact same time, that November, I hit, I hit my first 85K month. The next month I hit about 90,000. I'm um, selling the glow bear. I posted a video about that on my channel. And this put me in a position where one, all right, I've unlocked the brain power to now understand that this stuff is possible. I've made X amount of money. What takes a year for people to make that kind of money? And at this point, I'm 19 years old. 
I'm 18 or 19. No, 19. Crazy. So I'm like, I, I can make, no, wait, was I 18? Yes, I was 18. It was November 2019. So I was 18. And at that point, I'm like, this is gonna work. And I'm taking on the sales skills from that sales job that I was working. I only ended up working there for six months, but I took on everything that I needed to understand about sales. And that's how I learned how to talk to people. And that's how I learned how to make proper business decisions and analyze things from a proper standpoint. So the whole point in the story is the ripple effect that certain things have. I ended up dropping out of school October. I hit my first 85K month, November. And then right after that, and, and right around that time, I got into that sales position and it all had a ripple effect. And the thing is, you don't realize how one thing in life could lead to another. Had I never have dropped out of school, for some reason, I might not have hit that 85K month. I might have been working on a school project and that school project would have led me to spending less time. Uh, that, that school project could have led me to spending less time working on my ads or building that store. I might not have even ever found that product had I not have dropped out of school at that time. So what I'm getting at here is at the end of the day, you have to understand where your time is best valued. And for me, it just wasn't best valued in school because I didn't really see that making any sort of avenue for me. I wasn't even working in a field, I wasn't even studying a field that was gonna get me paid for real. I was doing business marketing and I was writing papers on some bullshit. I don't even fully remember. And at that point, I'm like, this is not gonna pave the way for, for myself that I want it to pave. But here's the thing you guys have to understand. You also have to be mature enough, independent enough to be able to take accountability for certain things. The one thing that school will teach you is discipline. And the reason why is because you have to, especially in high school, because when, when it gets to college, that discipline, it kind of goes away because you don't have anybody imposing any sorts of rules on you. So you have to get up and go to school, write your papers, do this, hand these things on time. At the college level, they'll just fail you. And when they fail you, it doesn't affect your life in any way. It literally doesn't do anything because you just pay for it again and just restart. So the one thing, once again, that, that it will teach you though is, is, is that sense of self-discipline and, and independence because you know that you have to get up and do, do things at a certain time. The same way if you're operating your own business, you could get up and do things at whatever time you have, but you have to have that sense of urgency and understand when, when things need to be done. If you need money to go pay your bills, well, you better get up and go make those sales calls. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I do wholeheartedly think that dropping out put me in the position that I'm in today. and allowed me to make my first million dollars. And I'm grateful for this stuff every single day. And I'm just sitting on here trying to talk to you guys because I know that a lot of you guys are currently in the position that I was once in. And I wanna be able to shed some light on that situation. There's a lot of you guys that are sitting there questioning, oh, well, if I drop out, my mom is gonna think this, or my mom's gonna kick me out, or my mom. How high do you dream? If your mom's gonna kick you out, what do you have to do? I'm not even what do you have to do? If your mom kicks you out because you drop out of school, what do you have to do? Especially if your mom's kicking you out knowing that you are trying to follow your dreams and aspirations to make it in the business world or to go operate your own business. At that point, it just goes to show again that not everybody in life is going to support you to do what you believe in. Your dreams are your dreams. So you can't necessarily always share your dreams with everybody because it's not everybody that's going to believe in your dreams. And so point being, if your mom kicks you out, what do you have to go do? Well, you're going to have to figure out how to make some money so you can support yourself. And then again, that puts you in a position where your back's against the wall. And when your back's against the wall, what do you have to do? The only way you can go is up. You can't go lower than your back being against the wall. You get what I'm saying? So you guys have to really analyze this situation. And I'm not sitting here telling you drop out and, and you're going to be successful because a lot of it has to come from within. And if you don't have that self-discipline to allow yourself to one, leave, and then second of all, take that leap of faith and believe in yourself. It's okay to be scared, but believe in yourself enough to know that you're going to make it work. And the other thing is, that a lot of people don't necessarily touch base on. I'll probably drop another video about this. You guys have to make sure that you do have some sort of income coming in. You can't just expect to leave school, work on a business, and then money will appear out of the blue. You still have to have something in the background that will fund it. So me personally, at the time, I was working a lot. Like I said, I hit my first 85K month and I was still working that sales job because I wanted those sales skills. And it got to a point where I realized I didn't necessarily need the money there anymore because at this point I'm sitting on, by the time I quit my job, I don't even know. I think I was probably sitting on, maybe like I hit my first 85K month, I took about a 20K profit. I was maybe sitting on 50, 60 grand. I don't, I don't even really remember, but this was, I ended up quitting once COVID started around April and I was 18. 
So you just make sure you have something that's gonna fund those ventures. And especially if your mom ends up kicking you out, just make sure that you have the money to support yourself and you have to get that from somewhere. It's a matter of taking sacrifices. So you're gonna have to dig deep and figure out where you can find the hours to work on your business. If there's 24 hours in a day, you're working eight hours of them. There's about another eight hours you could spend working on your business if you wanna sleep eight hours. You wanna sacrifice more time cutting to your sleep. There's a video I took when I was 16 or 17. And I was saying, yo, everybody's outside right now to party, drinking, getting high, getting drunk, whatever. And I'm out here working. And I look at that video that gives me goosebumps to this day because that video, I said, one thing I said in that video, I said, oh, I'm gonna come back to this video in a couple of years and I'm gonna thank myself. And this is gonna be the reason why I made it and everybody's still sitting in the position that they're sitting in. So you guys have to really look at these situations and analyze them for real and really understand what position you're in, what you have to do. How much discipline do you have? How much independence do you have? Do you believe in yourself? And I'm mostly speaking out to the younger men out there. Once again, if you're 18 years old, you're 19, just coming out of high school, you have no money, you're trying to figure it out. Especially if you're somebody that's looking into trying to scam and stuff like that, bro, you don't be doing that. It's not necessary because those little $4,000, $1,000 here and there, it's not gonna fund your life long term. So look into this stuff, figure out what you're good at, where your skill set is. If you're good at talking to people, then that means you could sell. If you have video editing skills, cool. Start, start an agency, video edit for people like me, shit, hit me up. You wanna build websites, hit me up too, I have that agency. There's a lot of opportunities out there and it's, it's a matter of you understanding where you can offer value in the market. This school stuff's not gonna bring you anywhere when it comes to being able to build a scalable income. In my opinion, if you're working a job, unless you're making half a million to a million dollars a year after taxes, it's not necessarily worth it. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the only reason why I say that is because there's certain stresses that operating a business comes with, especially when it's a matter of understanding how secure you are. It's difficult to build security, especially when you're trying to work your way up until you have a couple million dollars in the bank. It's, it's difficult to understand what kind of security you have and if you're gonna be able to support yourself later down the line. So at the end of the day, it comes down to you believing in yourself and you being able to make those things work. I was about to go in Walmart and get some toilet paper right now, but I'm not trying to go in there, so I'm just probably just go on. But with that being said, this will bring us to the end of today's video. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what is your situation. A lot of you guys have been telling me you're 18, you're struggling, or you're 19, you're struggling, or is it too late for you to get started in, in operating your own business or whatever it is. Leave a comment down below and just let me know what, what is your situation, what are, what are you struggling with right now, and I'm going to get back to you guys and I'm going to make videos on them. The other thing is I also want to be starting some live streams. So that's probably going to be coming up in about a week or so. I'm going to try and do daily live streams. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get enough of you guys on there. And I really want to help you guys and support you guys break down your situation and just tell you what direction I would head in if I was in your place. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.